All right, so the first thing you'll do, uh, whether you buy a mortal sin or any, any goose call, is don't worry about your hand placement. Um, you're gonna pick the call up, just like you're drinking out of a Coke bottle, that's how you put your lips. And all you're gonna do is blow into it like a party horn. Just that constant airflow. That's it. Do that a couple times so you get that consistent sound so it's not jumping up and down in pitch. And then uh, from there, to get, to get it to roll over, you're gonna take the fatty part of the back of your tongue and pop it up. And you're gonna just push it up hard like you're trying to push the brains out the top of your head. Keep that tip of the tongue tucked. Don't puff your cheeks. And you get a turnover, just pop that back part of your tongue up. That's it. So that's gonna be your honk. Don't worry about your hands, just get those basic sounds down first. All right, so now that you got that, that honk down, we'll go into hand placement a little bit. Again, don't choke it off. What you have to think of is your hands are just an extension of this barrel of the call. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna pinch it off, you're just gonna hold it so that you can still get that, that airflow all the way through. Hold that hand there. This hand doesn't do much. You're just gonna rest on those other fingers. You'll be able to tell the pitch difference. You get that more hollow, goosey sound out of it. So again, hand placement, it's not huge, just do not choke it off. If you choke it off too much, this is what it's gonna sound like. You won't be able to, you won't be able to get a honk out of it at all. So just remember to keep that open. All it is is an extension of that call. Put the other hand on top. that'll give you that, that goosier, goosier tone out of the call. Now the other one you can do, and what I actually do, um, it's, it's uncomfortable at first, but once you get the hang of it, I think it's better, is you're gonna wrap your hand around, take your middle finger, and you're gonna tuck it in back toward, towards the in, inward part of your hand, and then take your index finger, tuck it over the bore. And you can see on the end of the bore there on the call, you get a little bit of a triangle. And all that's gonna do, it's gonna mellow the call out a little bit, give it a little deeper sound. I think it sounds a little bit goosier. if you open that hand up and once you get real real comfortable with this what you can do when you're hunting is you can go from this to an open hand and you can sound like more geese you can get a bunch of different pitches all with just moving one finger